Hey guys, um, today I want to talk a little bit about the Universal Tool. Some people don't know it or don't use it um, or have no idea that it's there and use the sliders all the time. But the Universal Tool can be really helpful when it comes to move objects uh, very, very um, detailed, very close to, to something that you can see. It's very good. It's like a ring on a finger, like here. The, example uh, a sword into the hand of a figure of a character or a dagger or um, uh, earrings or whatever so if you have to post something um, closely um, you can move, uh, use this uh, universal tool which will be really helpful it has uh, some functions that i will explain you what uh, these functions are so first of all you have this uh, box in the middle here uh, the white one here, and um, this scales the object to any size you want to. So just click with the left mouse button and drag it. It's like all, all those other tools over here. Click the left mouse button and drag it and you will see how it works. So you can um, change the size here, you can scale it. It's the same as scaling it over here, but uh, you are in the scene and you can see di directly how it works and how good it is, how close you are to what you want to have. So this is a overall scaling, yeah, the whole object. If you want to scale in just one direction, you need to use these little boxes on the arrows, before the arrows here. So here's the red box, it will scale in x-axis. X is always red, you can see here x is red and it's red here, y is here and here it's green, so y is uh, access to up and for up and downs, and um, the z axis is for foreground and background to move it behind something or foreground of something, and um, it's it's blue, yeah, so it's corresponding colors over here of course. In any 3D software you should have those three colors uh, for the same directions. It's always, Y is always up and down, it's always green and uh, Z should be always blue and uh, X always red. So in the little boxes scale in those particular um, directions as you can see here, here and of course height yeah and um, that's uh, for the scaling so we go back here a little busy again <coughs> and this is pretty easy um, then we have those little part of a, of a circle over here and um, this rotates your object yeah it's, it's like you know, the universal tool that's rotating, scaling, and moving. Yeah, so this was the scaling with the little boxes. And rotating are the circles. Yeah. If you point with your uh, mouse, with the mouse pointer, onto this part of the circle, you see the whole circle in yellow, and then you can rotate in this direction. So we have here that axis, moves it like this, x axis moves in this direction, rotates, and y like this. Yeah, okay, well, everything is uh, really, really easy to handle here, and uh, don't have to worry to, to use the tool, it's very, really helpful. So, and last but not least, it's those little arrows here can move into that given directions. Yeah. So if you want to move something or fit something to an object, just move it where you want to have it, like this. You want to have it in a circle now. So when we see the that axis is a little bit big, so we smaller it, we reduce it. And we have a fitting, um, so fitting a torus like a ring 
and imagine the um, sphere is a finger. So and you can move it until you have it. And it can really, really work very closely, very detailed, and um, should, should work like a charm. Yeah, so a bit smaller to intersect. And then we have it like a Saturn here. Flip it up. So we got it. So and if you have it, if you want to really have it like a Saturn, you need to make this flat like this and scale it up a little bit. So here you have your Saturn like object. It's really pretty easy to use and I really recommend to use it often or at least for special things like I said objects to attach to the figure like daggers, swords, jewelry and so on and um, really really helpful. It's just a quick tip and I hope you find it useful. I hope you have a great time and thank you for watching. Bye bye.